joined on the telephone right now by wrestling legend Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Good morning. Thank you very much, brother. You know, looking forward to come out that way and see all the fans and all you wonderful people. At 66 years old, are you still flying off that top turnbuckle? Yes, sir, brother. If I don't come there and I don't fly, you'll be disappointed, wouldn't you, brother? Yeah, but you're 66 years old. You've done it all. Take it easy. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You know, that's my trademark, and, you know, I thank God that I can still do it, and, you know, and I'm in good health, and still love what I do. I love my professional wrestling, and, and especially the fans, brother. You are a legend, a wrestling pioneer, the first one to fly across the ring onto your opponent from the top rope. What got you to say, you know what, I'm breaking tradition, I'm doing something that nobody's ever done. Where did the flying across the ring come from? Well, actually, uh, brother, you know, back in the islands, I used to be a cliff diver. Okay. And uh, when I got into professional wrestling and I didn't see anybody doing that kind of stuff, and I just thought, uh, you know, I'm going to use that and call it the Superfly. 1982, Jimmy Snuka enters the then-named WWF, the World Wrestling Federation, and you were a heel when you first started under the guidance of Captain Lou Albano, who we lost recently. Why don't you talk about your relationship with Captain Lou? Well, brother, you know, it's uh, really kind of sad that, you know, you miss a good friend and a good brother and a close, you know, close family. You know, really miss him because there was a lot of good times that I had with him and, you know, mentally and physically wise about our business and the opportunity to be with that great man, Lou Albano. I always call him Capitan, you know? Speaking with wrestling legend Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Now, you still do the local circuit. You're coming out to Chicopee on Friday night. But you're still working with the WWE. You were in WrestleMania 25 this past April. Yes, sir, but I was the oldest guy, and I broke the record again. You know, it was a great blessing for the Superfly, brother. So Friday night at the Castle of the Knights in Chicopee, Massachusetts, Jimmy Superfly Snooker going to put on the leopard skin tights. You're going to put on that beaded headband, and you're telling me a 66-year-old Jimmy Superfly Snooker going to fly across the ring? The Superfly has no choice but to fly for the fans, brother. When you're wrestling, you don't get health insurance, right? You get hurt, you have to take care of yourself? Uh, you got that right, but um, that is very true. What kind of injuries have you had over the years? Must be countless. I had some knee injuries, you know, on my left knee. But other than that, I've uh, been pretty lucky, you know, so far. And, you know, I had a few concussions, especially from the coconut from Roddy Roddy Piper. Was it planned that he was going to put a coconut over your head, or was that a total surprise to you on camera? Brother, that was a total surprise to me, brother. Just went out there and had a good time and entertained the fan and, uh, you know, continue on my work that I love so much. Jimmy Superfly Snooker, this has been a true pleasure. I've loved watching you growing up, and I can't believe you're still doing it to this day. God bless you, man. Thank you very much, brother, and God bless you guys, man, and keep up the good work. All these 98 nights.